guys. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> Sorry, countdown. One, two, three, action. <laughs> All right. Um, so as promised, I wanted to give you guys a like, closer look at some of our upcoming release for Pocket Scrapbooking, which is going to be released on December 1st. And we, I showed you guys yesterday one of our pocket paper kits, Time to Shine actually, which is super cute. And I'm going to show you our Enjoy the Ride pocket paper kit here um, in the next couple of days as well. But today I want to show you guys um, our pocket borders and some fun things that we did and we designed them a specific way, which we'll get to. But we actually have three pocket borders being released. Um, breezy, frolic, and wild side. Isn't those fun words? They're super fun. Okay. Um, anyways, so what is so special about the pocket borders? Well, you of course can use them on your pocket pages. So let me give you a close look here. Okay. Um, they are designed similar to our card borders, yet these are actually six inches. Um, why? So they're not five and a half. Our card borders are um, designed to be five and a half inches long and our pocket borders are designed, let me grab those here, to be six inches so that you can um, use them on different size of pockets in your albums. So here, let me give you a close look. This is a page. Now this isn't our paper. This is just paper that I used from another company and I'm not sure off the top of my mind whose it is. But of course I had tons of pictures from uh, a trek that we did with our church and um, I went with our two daughters, Madison and Abigail, um, that just of course pocket scrapping would work great because there were so many pictures. But look, so here are the borders. So here's one and this is actually from Wild Side. Okay, so I just used that. See how cute that is. Now of course you could use them um, just kind of like, again, you're just scrapbooking many little pages. So in this case, I did scrapbook each pocket on those, but you don't always have to. So you could keep it like for say, we did a lot on those. This page here, how these are just pictures with a, a title filler card, but I did add a little accents. But for the most part, this whole page here is uh, pictures with some in here. Now over on this side, I wanted to show you guys this because for this little filler card here, which is three and uh, three by fours, right? So this is one of the borders. Actually, that might be from one of these other sets, but this is the basics of it. Look at the pocket borders. They are marked. They're marked at three inches, four inches, five, five and a half. This allows you to use them on a different variety of sizes of pockets. So what you're going to do, I'm going to pull out this time to shine again here. All right. So you got your filler cards, right? But say you want to add a little layer. Well, that's where those strips come into play, which I showed you kind of yesterday on that. And so I would just take one of my scraps of paper or a pattern that I want to use and I would line it up. So line it up on the edge. You see that Dave? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. But if I was doing a pocket, like in this case, it's three inches wide. So then I would just go to three inches and then I would simply trace out that portion that I would need for that pocket. Okay, so that's how that would work. So super easy. So you can adjust it, you have the marks so that you can do different sizes if you'd like on that. So super great. But of course you'll see five and a half inches too. So for those that like to make cards, they're also a lot of fun on cards. So these are just some of the borders that we did. Here's another fun, this is six inches. So you could go a full six inches on that as well. But this one is five and a half, your traditional card size. So lots, a lot of fun things that you can do with it. And these little tiny guys, that's coming from our Charmed access, tiny accessory set which again, I'll show you a little sneak peek in a couple days on that one, but that one's also being released on December 1st. So um, make sure to tune in again for the, for the rest of this week, we're gonna be showing you guys little sneak peeks. And of course you can talk to your QA Lane instructor and see what she's been up to too. I'm sure they're having a lot of fun playing. Okay, so that is the basics of the borders. And oh, I wanted to also show you, I gotta grab that sample, hold on, from the other day. So, 
not all of them. So pro let me give you a close look at those. Okay, so here is Wild Side. I need something to lay down on that. Here. Something with a little color behind it. Yeah. Huh? Okay, I'll just grab a couple of these. Here. Thanks. We'll do that. All right. Want to show the other one? So, some of these borders are designed with the side A and the side B, right? So you can see they have a side A and side B, but then some of them, so this is one set. This is our wild side. Um, oh, yeah, wild side. Just make sure I'm getting that right. Which, again, you can layer really cute a couple borders together, um, but you also get some of those more fun borders um, that you can mix with those side A and side B. Now, of course, you don't have to use side A and a side B. You can use them alone. You can use one on one pocket and then use the other one on the other side. Now, if you're new to Kiwi Lane, let me refresh that a little bit so that you're familiar with when I say side A, side B. We have borders that are designed with side A and a side B so that when you line it up on the edge of your paper, and this is specifically really great for scrapbooking, but you can incorporate this into your design, but you're gonna line it up on the side of your paper and then you're just gonna trace the edge and in this case, I would need to trim it down, so I'd make that. Then with the other one, you're just going to line it up. You can make a mark right here, and then you can do a straight cut. Then that eliminates how much cutting you're doing, because when you cut it once following that line that you just traced, you cut it once at the center, that's going to give you two pieces, okay? So when I say, hey, you can use one over here, so like this would be your side A, right? But you could also choose the then in your design corporate the side B and use it over there. So you can use them on opposite pockets but still take advantage of um, that efficiency of cutting those out. So that's why in this set, Wild Side, you have a couple that are designed with side A and side B, but not all of them are designed with side A and side B. I know there's a sample in here, so I'm going to try to find it really fast. Oh, here you go. So on this pocket, um, this one I actually designed where I used the A and the B, but I used them on the top and the bottom. So that's another fun way you can use those. And of course, another sample from the other day, but lots more samples coming, showing you guys, but I'm just showing you kind of an overview of where those borders were being used on, of course, kind of creating your own little pocket. Um, and you can do a mix of, again, mix of pictures with only two pockets being designed, if you'd like. But like on those other ones that I showed you, I did every pocket was a little bit of a scrapbook in each pocket, <laughs> basically, right? Okay, so this is Wild Side. Let's take this out and show you the other one. Okay, so Breezy. Breezy is another one of our pocket orders that is being released. All right. So same concept, you have a couple that have the side A and the side B to them. Um, a variety of different lengths. And just kind of a side note here, if there's ever one that you maybe don't want it to be so deep, then I just, when I'm tracing it out, I just line it up on my edge of my paper, like how much of that length that I want. And then the same thing, like if you were tracing this one, you would just say, okay, I'm going to mark it here to trim that down. So. That would be the case, unless for some reason you were doing it where you were doing a scrap of page and you want them to go across from each other, then you would want it to line up, so, and they do line up. Okay, and then these are the other ones. So this is your Breezy set. So who's loving Breezy? Show me some of those hearts. Who's loving it? I'm loving it. Okay, and the last one is our Frolic border, uh, pocket border. Okay, so our frolic one, again, also comes with a variety of fun little designs. And of course, you can layer within the set, but if you could even mix and match the sets, which I'll show you here in a minute, some of those fun layer looks. All right, so that's your frolic. That's your frolic set. Okay, loving that one? Okay. Um, okay, so for example, if you wanted to layer the two together in your design, you would just play to create a design that you like, right? Okay, um, but if you wanted to mix and match some sets, you could pull from, let's go ahead and pull one from uh, Wild Sight. 
and one from Frolic. So maybe that's a look that you like. You could do kind of more of a back-to-back. -back. Um, little tile card. Look at me. I'm all like, oh, let's play. <laughs> it begins. I know. <laughs> Anyways, so. Oh, now I'm all determined. I don't have to right now. But I, now I've got the itch, so now I'm going to have to go home and do it. But these are the three different sets. So who would like to win one? Super easy. Um, basically, just leave a comment. And I would just love to know, like, which one out of those three pocket border sets caught your eye? So was it Frolic, Wild Side, or Breezy? Um, so Breezy was the first one that we showed you, and then Wild Side, and then Frolic. Is that right? I think it was Wild Side, and then Breezy, breezy and, then, and frolic. then Frolic. Just kidding. Okay. Look at this voice behind the camera. Pay no attention to the man behind <laughs> okay. the camera. That's what it was. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so, uh, yeah, leave a comment. Which one did you like? Of course, I love them all, but hey, um, if you had to choose, which one would it be? Um, and then also, you not only have a chance to win a set here on Facebook, but we're also going to be doing this over on Facebook, or Instagram. So if you're not following us on Instagram yet, make sure to go over and follow us and then also enter to win there. So one winner over here on Facebook and one on Instagram, and you can enter them both. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned. Tomorrow we'll show you a couple more sneak peeks at some of the new product that we are specifically releasing on December 1st for that Creative Pocket Scrapbooking. Super fun. But again, how cute are these cards? So cute. Perfect way to use your scraps too. <laughs> yes. All right. Enjoy the rest of your guys' day, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.